I'm Dr. Roger and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular Laplace transforms. Here I have a second order linear homogeneous ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients and I'm, it's given as an initial value problem so I can solve this using Laplace transforms. I know that the transform of y double prime is s squared uppercase y minus s times y of 0 minus y prime of 0, where uppercase y is a notation I'm using for the transform of lowercase y. It's just easier to write that one letter than the optional Laplace no notation. So y double prime is s squared uppercase y minus 2s minus negative 1. And then the transform of y prime is s uppercase y minus y of 0. So in this case, that would be s uppercase y minus 2, and then plus 3 times uppercase y, where uppercase y is defined as the transform of lowercase y. And all that equals 0. Distributing s squared y minus 2s plus 1 equals 4, no, plus 4sy minus 8 plus 3y equals 0. Moving the terms that don't include a y to the right, I have s squared y plus 4sy plus 3y equals 2s, and then I have plus 1 minus 8 is minus 7 on the left, so if I add 7 to both sides, 2s plus 7 goes on the right. Factoring out the common factor of y on the left, I get s squared plus 4s plus 3 uppercase y equals 2s plus 7. And now I've taken the transfer of both sides and I've factored out the common factor of y on the left. And I notice that this polynomial here matches the characteristic polynomial that I would get if I was using the assumed solution of y equals e to the rt. But that's a different method. Solving for uppercase y, the transform of the solution, I get y equals 2s plus 7 over s squared plus 4s plus 3. Now, I don't directly know the inverse transform of that, but if I use partial fractions, 2s plus 7 over s plus 1, s plus 3, we know that can be re rewritten as a over s plus 1 plus b over s plus 3, multiplying both sides by s plus 1, s plus 3. These cancel, leaving just 2s plus 7 on the left, equals a times this product over s plus 1 is just a times s plus 3, plus b times this product over s plus 3 is b times s plus 1. Now I can solve this by choosing values for s, or I can solve it as a system of equations and I'll do both to show the options. If I choose s equals, I'm going to choose negative 1 because that makes the b term 0. Twice negative 1 is negative 2 plus 7 is 5 equals a times negative 1 plus 3 is 2a, so a equals 5 halves plus 0b. If I choose s equals, I can write neatly, negative 3 because a negative 3 will make the a term 0 which makes it easy to solve. Twice negative 3 is negative 6 plus 7 is 1 equals 0a because negative 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 times a plus b times negative 2. So b equals negative 1 half 
that allows me to rewrite y equals 5 halves 1 over s plus 1 and then minus 1 half 1 over s plus 3. Let me go back and redo this by a different method. Distributing, I get 2s plus 7 equals as plus 3a plus bs plus b. If I equate the linear terms, 2s equals as plus bs, so 2 equals a plus b. And 7, the constant on the left, equals 3a plus b, the constant on the right. I have a system of equations. I can now solve that system to get a and b, and I'll get the same values I just had. Going back, regardless of how we get to this expression, I now have the transform of the solution to my differential equation. The solution itself is the inverse transform, which is 5 halves, and I use a table of Laplace transforms that is normally permitted in your differential equations class. And in line 2 of my table, it says 1 over s minus a is the transform of e to the at, so this would be 5 halves e to the negative t minus 1 half. 1 over s plus 3 is the transform of e to the negative 3t. So this is our solution. And the nice thing about Laplace transforms over the characteristic polynomial is our solution comes with the coefficients for each of the independent solutions of our differential equation. So we don't have to separately solve for c1, c2, or however we denote the coefficients of our two functions. Make sure that the whole Laplace transform process makes sense to you with these familiar functions because we will be using them for other functions. And come back soon for my next video. With differential equations, there's always more.